We saw, I saw at this event that we're watching right now, unfortunately we didn't get any featured match with it, but Maverick was running four copies of Legolas's Quick Reflexes. We've seen some other Green Sun Zenith decks with it as well. Uh, the card is looking good so far. Scalding Tarn, correct? Here's an underground C. Oh no, were we about to scam everybody? Yeah, there, there's Maverick Mike in the chat. Maverick Mike knows what's up. I went over to Maverick Mike and I asked, Maverick Mike, how is Legolas's quick reflexes? He just, he just gave me that look and I knew. I, nothing else needed to be said. I immediately bought 20 copies. <laughs> TCG player affiliate links are down below. All right, cracking a fetch here is Yasu. Underground C. Cabal therapy. Bowmaster. Okay, so Yasu names Orkish Bowmaster. It's a double hit. Ouch. With Cabal Therapy. And uh, they're discarded. Reanimate, Brazen Bower. It looks like a fetch land and force in hand for Alec. Yeah, now that's a Cabal Therapy. Pete Sheep in the chat says, hello, fellow Shuko enjoyers. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I just don't know what they were thinking with that card, you know? Okay, reanimate on Bowmaster. That resolves. And then trigger I would take one. Is this a showdown of villains, Adam? Adam says, I can't believe I'm actually rooting for Scam. Are Scam and Breakfast villain decks? 2019. I think you take two to 16, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm 18. Yeah. Three cards in hand? Yeah. Three cards in hand for Alec. One of them is Brazen Borrower we knew about and Force of Will. <laughs> Here's Urza's Saga. And Narc Amoeba. Sacking it to Cabal Throw. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, name. Uh, round one. Force of Will? Force of Will named. It was a known card in hand. Brazen Bower and Sauron's Ransom are the other two cards remaining. So Gabot Therapy is flashbacked and gone. Urza's Saga. Making constructs and all that stuff could potentially start happening here. Brazen Bower, Petty Theft will be... Um, Something for Yasu to worry about, potentially. Charlie Gray says, do you do content like this often? This is our first ever live stream. No, we're here every week, every Wednesday. Same place, same time. Be here for our live streams. We also have a YouTube channel with a gigantic library of legacy matches for you to enjoy. 
Yeah, so often it's fatiguing. I agree. Charlie has sub with Prime. Charlie says, do you do content like this often? I said, yes, immediately subs. It's that easy, everybody. Wow. Thank you, Charlie. Charlie said, I'm in. <laughs> that, was the, that was the fastest. Con Whoops. That was the fastest conversion to a, uh, a member I've ever seen. Sure. All right, making a construct, declaring blocks, petty theft. Okay, I'll allowed the block, then petty thefted it. So missed a damage here, it looks like, Alec. Hmm. Not sure what happened there. Denim, thanks for the sub with Prime. Three months. That's a new badge. Appreciate that. I have a way with words. <laughs> yeah. I I guess. I don't know. Okay, so Petty Theft put Brazenbauer on an adventure, and there is no adventure indicator card, despite the recent reprint in Wilds of Eldraine. Just a D6 with a 1. So we're going we're gonna to mark that down in the show notes. Shuko is found by Urza Saga. <laughs> Brazen, uh, excuse me, Brainstorm. Brazen Storm. They should make a card that's Brazen Bauer and Brainstorm combined. Brazen Storm. Just invented that now accidentally. So the construct is equipped with Shuko making a 3 2. Okay. Passing the turn, no attacks. <clears throat> I will not be doing commentary for Eternal Weekend this year. I'm not involved in any production this year. Pass is Oracle, hard cast from hand. Library is still there, so Alec is somewhat safe letting this resolve. It's in there. Devotion is two. Sometimes you just have to Thassa's Oracle scry. Scry both to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, just counter programming, yeah. To pass. Five cards in hand confirmed by Alec, it looks like. Do we know any of them at this point? I don't believe so. Oh, Soren's Ransom is in there, right? Unless it got put back into the deck with Soren's Ransom, with uh, Brainstorm. Looted Delta, getting cracked. Tundra. Audrey, thank you for the gift subs. Five gift subs just came in from Audrey35 now on the channel. And a hype train just started. Wow. 
Where are we on subs now? We're at 323. Record is 347. We may get there someday. We may. Thank you, Audrey. The Orc Army is still a 1-1 one, one, in case somebody can't see the die on there. Bowmaster making cantrips a little bit weak for Yasu right now. Cracking a fetch here is Alec. Looks like on end step. We are in a hype train, so hype train conductor badges are available. Nobody has sheared bits yet, so there could be a hype train conductor for bits. So Alec now has three mana available. It looks like I, I just saw a force of will flashed in hand for uh, for Alec. Swamp Cycle Troll of Kazadoom. There's a basic swamp. Troll of Kazadoom, without a doubt, a legacy staple at this point. Took some time for people to catch on to both Troll and Lorian Revealed. The red, green, and white ones haven't really caught on in Legacy, but blue and black, definitely. I'll pass. Uh, yeah. Soren's Ransom. Right, Ransom getting days, potentially. Got him with it. Wow. So a day is on Soren's Ransom, and it's countered. That was uh, That was big. Hardcast Grief. Yeah, the red one is used in Popper and in uh, Modern as well. Force of Will pitch Modern. <laughs> Force of Will pitch Ponder. Not Modern. Uh, I'm going to Force Pack Pitching Days. Force Pack Pitching Days and Grief. Still on the stack. That's fine. It'll resolve. Yasu's hand is revealed. Looks like Illusionist, Teferi, and I think Cauldre complete. It looks like a legendary uh, colorless card. Illusionist is selected. D Tuako, thank you for the bits. You're on the way to becoming Hype Train Conductor, I bet. Yep. I'll pass the all right, passing the turn. Culture complete to Ferry in hand for Yasu. Attacking with Grief. What is that? Double book. Yeah, it happens right here. Okay, there's a judge collapsing in the background. Bowmaster getting flashed in here. Double block construct and Das's Oracle on Grief. Pinging construct. Okay, 
Okay, so the construct is gone. I yeah, I'm not sure of the bowmaster there. Grief has three power. I'll pass the Wait, pause here. What did this deal damage to? The construct. The construct. What was the power on this? A three two, right? Yeah, three two. Oh yeah, I remember pausing the game here. So uh, there's there's no really reason to uh, hear what I said because they just clarified what happened. I thought the 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 priority for dealing damage to the blockers was Stasis Oracle was first. Stasis Oracle has three toughness. The way they arranged it, it looked like Stasis Oracle would have been the first creature to receive damage, but they were in agreement that it was the construct, which. I was confused why the construct was pinged and uh, was just clarifying that whole situation. So everything was resolved correctly. Every the game. Fatal push on Thassa's Oracle now. It's a 1 3, but I wasn't sure what. It's so game. ironic. A creature I wanted to die. Am I forced to protect the creature I wanted to? <laughs> Very big board statement. All right, Yasu. Uh, a little bit excited by the idea of Tassa's Oracle hitting the graveyard from this fatal push, which is where Yasu wants Tassa's Oracle to be. And maybe trying to figure out why Alec is doing that. Attacking for four now, putting Yasu down to eight. Shuko is on the board. An illusionist could do the thing. It looks like Dread Return is in hand for Yasu now. I think I saw it in hand. Yeah. To ferry, flashing and brazen bower in response. It was on an adventure, despite no adventure indicator card, which we're putting in. We're, we're submitting that to the DCI, and Alec will have to. Uh, pay a fine or something. Plus, good. All right, plusing to ferry and passing the turn. Yeah, slick judge hoping Alec pays for their sins, yeah. I'm at one. Just attacking Yasu. Yasu down to one. <laughs> if the Bowmaster had just targeted Yasu instead of the Construct, the game would be over now with this with the math we currently saw play out. Bowmaster targeting Yasu. And uh, the Construct would have died in combat anyway. Here's Orem's chant with Kicker. <laughs> so a little bit of a time walk thing going on. Yeah, slow play would still be enforced in competitive REL if they're without a timer, for sure. While there is no timer, you don't have unlimited time to take game actions. In fact, sometimes you'll hear me in the background telling people to hurry up. Nope. Yeah. All right, Alec takes the game. One, takes game one. All right, two on the bottom for Yasu, a mole to five, and here's turn one, Shuko. A card that I think all of us are skeptical of the design of Shuko at this point, right? Yeah, I am the official play clock for Competitive Legacy. That's true. Even when I'm not at the event, people say, you know, Chris would say to hurry up. I've heard, I've heard people say that. 
it's wild how much more you see watching it back versus playing in the moment. Yeah. I mean, the vantage point that you, the viewer, whether you're watching live on Twitch or later on YouTube, the vantage point you have is different than the players who are sitting in the chair trying to concentrate and play these games. And it's a lot easier for you a lot of the time to see the plays because there's no pressure on you. You're, you're, you're able to pause it even and think about what you would do and, you know, um, and so on. Sometimes the deck names on the bottom of the screen, the player is not even sure what they're playing against, for example. It, you're, you're, you're just in a lot easier position to make decisions. Yeah. All right, here's a brainstorm for Alec. Can I explain the cephalid Shuko combo? Yeah, so cephalid illusionist. I'm going to put the text up on the screen once again. It's a two mana, one, one. Whenever it becomes the target of a spell or ability, mill three cards. Then we have two cards with zero mana activated abilities that target a creature you control, which is Shuko and Nomads and Core. And that allows you to mill your library. Narco Amoebas enter the battlefield. And Dread Return for Thassa's Oracle is the win condition. There's also Cabal Therapies in the deck. And uh, Force of Will. We saw Days in the previous game. They have Disruption for opposing combos. The Cephalid Breakfast deck can play a long game with Urza Saga as well. That's the deal with that. Here's Dothy Voidwalker. That's a good play for Alec. Stops the Cephalid Illusionist Shuko combo for now. If it resolves, Blue Delta correct in response. Um, I don't think he just put that in the guard. The craziest card left that game was Kip, thank you for the resub. 30 more, 34 months for Kip. Kip, one of our best people. What's up, Kip? Kip's been with us a long time. I think that's fine. That was good. Make a monster. All right, making a construct is Yasu on end step. Urza Saga will tick up to three. Taking a look at the text on Voidwalker, I think is what's happening right now. Hi, Train Conductor Audrey. Not liking Thassa's Oracle stuff at all. Harry Houdini asks, am I late? You, Harry, you're, f you're three and a half hours late to the stream. It's just unacceptable at this point. Did Yasu just fail to find? I think so. Interesting. All right, swinging with a construct equipped with Shuko. Shuko's equip cost is zero, which is the whole point. Running this weird, crappy equipment from Betrayers of Kamigawa. Voidwalker attacks. 16. Uh, pass. Drop. Combat. Ooh, dress down's quite good against constructs, chat. This is big for Alec. Dress down means they're zero zeros and they die. Soars on Dothy Voidwalker now. Could have done that before. Alec got to draw a card just in case, but yeah. Uh, card then? Three. Was that an unlimited swords? I missed it. 
Whoa, earthquake. I see the swords now on the bottom left. Is that revised or unlimited? I can't tell. We have some old school experts. I think that's revised. Yeah, I think Rafik is right. I'm not sure. I don't know. Doesn't matter. All right, Bowmasters flashed in. Right now, regular enters. Hard enters are so much bigger. I know. I have my old school. Yep. Okay. All right, attacking for two. <laughs> Sorry, all right, I won't say earthquake. Some people got uh real earthquakes going on. Harry, thank you for the gift sub. Seventy two now on the channel for Harry Houdini. Appreciate that. I think that this is good enough. Our sub count is creeping up towards our goal. After uh I was away for a week, we sunk back down to the Low two hundreds, I think, and we we jumped all the way back up. Thank you, everyone. Yes, hype train conductor Audrey is absolutely right. Both Bifrost and Game Story on monthlies had bathroom issues at the event, but everything was okay in the end. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. It's a strange show, everybody. I don't know. If you're watching this later, I don't really know how to explain what this channel is. Troll of Kazadoom getting swamp cycled, it looks like. We still don't really have a uh, rating for swamp cycling on the storm scale yet. Um, we're also waiting on a storm scale rating for um, feeding mandibles. Feeder mandibles. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the real challenge is sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, cracking polluted delta. Uh, Mystic good. sanctuary. Uh isn't one of them in your hand? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So it just comes in tap. Yeah, yeah. Ah, so the underground sea was uh in hand. Alec forgot that for a second. Fetched the Mystic Sanctuary. A little bit of an error there. That's rough. Yeah, good catch by Yasu. That's unfortunate. All right, here's Hardcast Grief. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Double Orum's Chant, Nomads and Korra, Cabal Therapy, and an Underground Sea, it looks like. What's the take here? Is it just Nomads combo piece? Later. So Nomads and Core taken by the Grief. To wherever, to wherever it's supposed to get. Yeah. Um, back on my bullshit. All right. That's an Oracle cast from hand. Yasu, back on your you-know-what. Devotion is too. Neither. Oh, Cabal Therapy. Days. Okay, you have another one. Uh, force. Days and then Force pitching Drown in the Lock on Cabal Therapy. Force. 
four cards in hand for Alec. Two counter spells fired off on this Cabal Therapy. Yes, you can flash it back, sacrificing a creature we want in the graveyard anyway. I think that's the play. Therapy. Force pitching Ooh. ponder. Wow. Force pitching ponder. All right, so Alec fighting off Cabal Therapy with two forces and a daze and staying with two cards in hand. Mystic Sanctuary was returned to hand by the Days. Potentially protecting a surgical here. We don't we don't know what's left in Alex's hand. At least I don't think we do. Ponder going back on top. Attacking for five. Yasu down to eight now. Yep, you're at eight. Uh, sorry, no. Yeah, th it's also true that Alec knows about double Aurum's chant in hand, and those f forces and dazes will be useless at stopping the combo if Yasu has it. Surgical will also be useless. Aurum's chant on, on your upkeep? Aurum's chant on upkeep. Okay. Okay. Go for it. No kicker. I have one, once again. Yep, there we go. go ahead. Untap. Draw. I'll pass the turn. Upkeep. Kicker. I would like. Kicker, Orum's chant this time. Just trying to buy a turn. Looks like one card left in hand for Yasu. Plays an island. Pass the turn. Once again, please. Do we do anything? Yeah, you can discard Fairy Macabre through Orem's Chant or Teferi. Stoneforge. Yep. That's that's not enough, as Harry correctly points out in the chat. Mine's College Complete. That's also not enough. Fatal push on Stoneforge ends the match. Good games. Alec gets it.